Okay, so the, our next question, this is for you, Tom, was submitted by Shushita. And Shushita asks this question, in relationships, why do we look for admiration, validation, love, and security? And the second part of the question is, is it possible to be free of all these needs and still be fulfilled? Hmm. It is not possible to be free of those needs. Uh, those Easy. are um, basic components of who we are as human beings. What, part of what makes relationships so powerful, and the more research we and our colleagues do on this issue, the more we discover how powerful relationships really are. And they promote our physical well-being, our emotional well-being, they promote the well-being of our children, they make us more successful at our jobs. Uh, they have tremendous uh, benefits for us, our relationships do. And so the question is, why might that be? And part of it is because there's a special spark that comes up in a relationship. There is a, a, a level of familiarity and comfort and an openness that allows us to feel admired and to express admiration and understanding and compassion and to really reach out and care for our partner. So that's really the special, uh, the special sauce, the special element of relationships that we want to promote and preserve. So it's not really possible to be free of those needs, but it is possible to manage those needs well. We can be successful in how we communicate those needs. We can be successful and even improve in our ability to understand who our partner is, what it takes to get our partner. It's a big part of what it means to be in a relationship is trying to discern what your partner needs even when they don't know what they need. And so I think these needs are built in. You have to uh, assume that this is part of the equation, that it's going to be part of a relationship. It's part of what makes all relationships special. And it gives each of us a special task, a special challenge to figure out, how do I convey admiration to my partner? What kind of support does my partner need? And what kind of support doesn't work well for them? How can I make my partner a strong, whole, complete person? And in so doing, uh, hope to get that same reaction back from them in the process.